Now, uh, what is syntony? Syntony as a set of loci in two different species, which is located on the same chromosome in each, not necessarily in the same order. It means that, uh, for example, the human and mouse, there is a same set of uh, uh, sequences or genes which are present on uh, on the same chromosome in two different species, like for, between human and mouse. For example, in human and mouse, both have same number of genes present on uh, at uh, at same chromosome. If uh, I explain it more clearly, here you can see that. Let's just first look at here this one, this region, this one. First look at here that <clears throat> yeah, this this is an ancestral species. You can say this is uh, fish, right? This is fish, and uh, this one is uh, this is human, and this is mouse, right? So here you can see that on in in a, in a chromosome on in, uh, on uh, of a fish, there were three genes, or this region was present and uh, have same information like A, B. Consider these A, B, C as genes. So these A, B, and C genes are present in the same uh, order in uh, on the, in fish. And when we see it in human and mouse, they are also present on the same region. But the order is not necessarily same, which I explained to you in the previous slide. That here you can see that order here A, C, B are together. A, B, C are shuffled or inverted, but they are present in the same region together. That is called the syntony. It means that there is a syntonic region between fish, human, and mouse. These are syntonic to each other. But uh, again, there is one more term that's uh, called collinearity, that if the order is also uh, exactly same. Here you can see that, for example, in fish here, uh, the uh, ABC genes are present on this any chromosome, and this human, and in here in mouse, they again, they are in the same region and same order, ABC, ABC. So that is called collinearity. This is one definition of, modified definition of syntony. So syntony has, a, it's also written, the syntony now has the same meaning as collinear despite the different origins of the term. So maybe I think it's clear, to make it more clear, there is another type of syntony. Again, there is another definition that macro syntony and micro syntony. It's very simple if you see the slide that uh, if the large part of the segment is conserved between two species, here if you say this is human, again if you say this is mouse, right? and this is human and this is mouse. So here we can say that uh, this whole region, whole region which contains a lot of genes and intervening genes like T, U, V, W, X, C, all these are syntonic uh, to this this mouse. So these are called, this is called macro syntony. But there are small set of regions if they are, they are syntonic if we call this a region, A is a region, not a gene. A region uh, contains more than one gene. So this small region is syntonic to uh, uh, mouse, and this B region is syntonic to mice. Mouse C is syntonic to mouse, but inter intervening genes are not syntonic, so we call this a smaller syntony or a micro syntony. So these are some terms which you may encounter later in your subject. And this is the uh, this is how it is uh, shown in, in a database. Here you can see that this blue lines, vertical bars, represent the conserved and syntonic regions between human and mouse. So here you can see that the number of the chromosome is different. It it doesn't mean that the same chromosome is in syntony. Same chromosome doesn't mean that the human chromosome 14 and human uh, mouse chromosome 14. It means that any chromosome which is which has the same information with the chromosome uh, of uh, other other species. For example, here if, uh, at human and chromosome number 14, there are a lot of regions which are similar to mouse chromosome number 12 regions. So this is the syntonic part of between human and mouse, right? And this is another way of uh, uh, showing the diagram here. You can see that the segments of greater than 300 KB in size with conserved syntony in human are superimposed on the mouse genome. And uh, these color represents uh, the human. <coughs> the diagram is from the mouse genome, and uh, they are superimposed with different colors. That uh, that is of human. For example, this uh, gray represents that the information of human chromosome one that is super simple uh, conserved in uh, mouse of chromo mouse chromosome one, and this blue uh, is uh, syntonic to 
this blue is syntonic to mouse chromosome number one here, 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 here. So it means these regions are syntonic between human and mouse. So this is another way of representing the information. So you can see that uh, the human chromosomes are 22 with X and um, mouse chromosomes are 19 within, with a hair with an X. So that's why it is, <clears throat> as you can see that the number of chromosome is different. But the syntony, there are a lot of syntonic regions. So in summary, if we compare the uh, human and mouse gene sets, we identified that uh, after this sequencing of human and mouse genome that 99% of the mouse genes have homolog in the human genome, 99% similarity. Then 96% of the homo homolog lies within a similar conserved syntonic interval in the human genome. That out of 99%, 96% were actually also present in the same syntonic order. That's very interesting. And only 1% that is 118 of the mouse genes have no homolog predicted gene in the human genome. So we can say that these 1% uh, uh, or 118 genes are novel or specific to mouse or maybe they are deleted in human gene. That is another question. So there, can, there are a lot of avenues we can uh, investigate here that why these genes are present in human and why they are not present in mouse, why they are present in mouse but not in human and whether they are deleted in human or they are very specific to mouse genome. So we can come up with a lot of different answers. So this is one avenue I'm just suggesting you, you if you have any interest, you can go there. Then 62% of the human mouse homolog genes have same number of exons. Exonic order is also same. 91% of these human mouse exon pairs have identical exon length. Even the length of the exon is also same. So you can see that the the amount of uh, similarity between human and mouse genome and you can now understand why that is used to for expression analysis or anything we have to validate in human for that we first go for mouse only one percent of the hum homolog introns have identical length because intron uh, only one percent of the homolog introns have identical lengths it that clearly suggests that the uh, introns are the non-coding part and there is and there are a lot of different there can be a lot of different reasons why intronic region has variable length because the genomes are constantly changing we even talk about this in evolution that uh, this changing of genome can vary make the length uh, that that can vary the length of the intron and uh, we can see that later in our evolutionary part genomics part and homolog mouse intron tend to be shorter the one major difference between human and mouse is that the intronic region is very short compared between human and mouse. So lastly, just we talk about uh, uh, fish because uh, I like fishes and uh, small is always beautiful. And uh, if we compare the diff distance between human and mouse, there is a gap of around 400 and million, 450 million years gap that fish are diverged into hum at this point to go through become humans so they are they originated 450 million years ago before humans so if we just uh, explain one this fish which was mentioned in the previous slide that is fugu taki fugu rubrips it's the whole biological name and uh, the conservation uh, as the time here you can see that the only difference between human and mouse was 65 million years ago and now it's 450 millions. Now the difference is increasing. Here you can see that conservation of human fugu gene syntonic regions is a total of three, only 3.8%. 3 that is a 12.6 MB of the fugu genome is, seg is in segments with zero intervening genes. That perfect conservation between human and fugu gene is only, mm -hmm. for syntonic region, is only 3.8%. And 5%, that is a 16.7 uh, MB is in segments with one intervening gene this is not uh, sorry this is not percentage this is mb right so uh, is in segments with one intervening gene and seven percent uh, that is a 23.6 mb is in segments with up to five intervening genes it means that these uh, genes are not uh, present in either of the human or uh, fugu genome when we are comparing the syntony, as I showed you in uh, micro syntony, you can see that intervening genes were present. 
and 9.3 percent that is 30 mb is in a segment with up to 15 intervening genes between human and mouse so here you can see that there are a lot of similarity if we are focusing on specific gene that there are 3.8 percent of the genome 5 percent 7 percent 9 percent collectively this makes around uh, 30 more or less than 30 percent of the genome of human and fish that is identical or you can say syntonic between human and mouse so if we want to check the expression of any gene in fish and validate then that that in human that is also possible so that's why uh, the comparative genomics is important that's why we have to uh, compare different genomes because all these genomes are related and if we want to compare all these genomes and uh, if we know that all these genomes are related then why we are running away from uh, we uh, as a biologist we are running away from the data science or the uh, computational biology because if we want to analyze this whole chunk of information of human genome, mouse genome, fish genome, any other yeast genome, uh, drosophila genome, then we should have basic understanding about these genomes and how, how these gen genomes are stored and how we can access all this beautiful information. And we will go through these uh, topics later on in our class. <clears throat> Thank you. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.